You and your tongue and your teeth. Capturing special moments is what Leslie Carpenter lives for. I've been a photographer for around five years now. So of course, she had to document the day that opened her eyes and her heart to the kindness of others. It centers around this picture of her five-year-old son's shoes. You see, Asher is undergoing testing to find out whether he has autism. Because he's not formally diagnosed yet, his school can't place him in special ed classes leaving him in a sort of limbo. The school can't treat him as a, an autistic child. They can't um, give him the services. To add to the stress, lately Asher's really struggled with tying his shoelaces, a big source of frustration for the little guy. But every day he'd come home with his laces undone, every single day. And I didn't know, I just was kind of at a loss of what to do. Then one day last week, Asher came home from Glenwood Heights Primary School. I looked down at his shoes and I, I thought, what, what are those? You know, where's his laces? And I looked down and I realized that they were special laces. Someone had replaced them with special no-tie laces that make it easier for Asher to use. I got it. A good deed by a stranger, no strings attached. It just blew me away. I started crying there. I just, right then and there, I, I really did. I just broke down. Leslie posted the picture to Facebook, which has gone viral. And it just blew up. Everybody just, I mean, I had one after another, messages, messages. And quickly, she found out the name of her mystery, Good Samaritan. <laughs> Asher's occupational therapist, Carolyn Torricelli. I am so blessed to do what I do. At the time, Carolyn thought getting the laces was just the natural thing to do. She had no idea the impact it would have on the family. That's wild. I think it's great. I didn't expect it, and um, I do appreciate the story, and it really touched my heart. But for Leslie, it's bigger than the laces. Seeing Asher's teachers go above and beyond to help her son while he's waiting for a diagnosis means the world. They don't just look at them as a nine to five job. They care about their well-being and, and them growing up. And